Hi everyone, I welcome you all in a new video tutorial. This time we are going to discuss about deflection and plastic curves. Deflection in structural engineering terms refers to the movement of beam or load from its original position due to the forces and loads being applied to the member. As you can see on this picture, a cantilever beam is subjected to a point load at a free hand, so this is how it will deflect in this manner. So deflections can be caused due to external loads, temperature effects and fabrication errors and if designed, deflections must be limited in order to provide integrity and stability to the structure. So deflection in a beam can be caused due to normal force, shear force or bending power. But primarily, the greatest deflections can be caused due to internal bending, whereas in case of trusses, the deflections can be caused due to axial forces. So before estimating the deflections, we need to understand about elastic curves. When a beam is subjected to any sort of loading, so how the elastic curves can be formed. For example, a simply supported beam is shown here which is subjected to a point load. So this beam will deflect in this manner. Whereas the cantilever beam, when it is subjected to a point load at free end, the elastic curve can be formed in this manner. Here is another example of propped beam. For this case, the elastic curve can be formed in this manner. So for simple cases, it is easier to draw the elastic curve by looking at the condition of supports as well as loading. However, when elastic curve seems difficult to establish, they suggested to develop the moment diagram for a beam or frame. For a moment diagram, if the positive moment occurs, so we need to make a concave upward shape if there is a negative moment, so we need to draw the concave downward shape of the elastic curve. Here is an example. A beam subjected to two point loops. First, we need to come to reactions. After that, we need to develop moment diagram. As you can see, this is negative bending moment. This is positive bending moment. So for this portion, we need to develop elastic curve with said face. And for this one, we need to develop elastic curve with smiley face. This is how the elastic curve is drawn. Here is another example. A beam subjected to an internal moment. So first compute the reactions and develop bending moment diagram so again this is negative bending moment and this is positive bending moment so for this case the elastic curve will be drawn in this manner so for negative bending moment we need to develop elastic curve concavity downward and for positive bending moment this is concavity upward here is another example for overhanging pain so the bending moment diagram with respect to the loading will be formed in this manner an elastic curve will be drawn. For positive, it will be like this, and for negative portion, it will be like this. And since it is a free hand, so free hand will be having the maximum deflection. So that's how the elastic curve is. So this brings to the end of today's tutorial. If you find this tutorial useful, please do like and share. And if you have any doubt, you can write in the comment section. For more updates, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day.